fire in the snow part two. So now that I talked about what to do ahead of time, here is what I've got for actually lighting the fire. Um, you can see that there's a huge amount of leaves. Uh, I'm all about cheating, getting started, getting going. Uh, the slowest, or the shortest maple syrup burn that I've ever had, I think was like six hours, as long as it was 11 hours. I'm all about getting up, getting going, getting the fire moving quickly. Uh, the clock on the boil and the sap really doesn't start until the sap is on the fire. Go figure. Huge amount of leaves, lots of small stuff. I've got some uh, old busted up uh, pallet uh, in there as well. Um, at each end of the fire pit, not sure how well you can see it. There we go. I have uh, a little spot where I plan on lighting it. Uh, we've got some lint right here. Hopefully that showed up. We got lint on the other side. In addition, I have more fuel to add to the fire. It's been dry underneath the shelter. Um, eventually, I will shift over to a lot of this stuff that I've collected from the woods. Yes, it's wet. Yes, it's uh, you know, been snowed on. But once you have enough heat, it'll get going. I've also collected up some cardboard, uh, like an old pizza pot box, for example. Really quick, intense heat that's going to help this thing get moving. Is it cheating? Uh, you could call it cheating or you could call it being prepared, uh, but just try to make this happen.